what did she, what did she say there? Something about a cat in an elevator? <laughs> <laughs> You're in our multiverse today, Benedict. Okay. And okay. Uh, it's the Unpopular Opinion Circus, Hooray. which we're going to be playing in today. Okay, and it will be a load of listeners who have got a load of unpopular opinions. Okay. We have some people ready to go. Okay. There is a theme tune. Sadly, didn't bring the banjo in, uh, actually. I know. I'm sorry. It just wouldn't fit in my pocket. And uh, we sing every time. Um, here we go. Come and give us your unpopular opinion. Oh, Something up till now that you've been scared to say. say. <laughs> good. It's a good sort of baritone, isn't it? Yeah. Say. Yeah, I like it. Let's start with Mark. My unpopular opinion is I like the smell of cow manure. Oh. I mean, but I, if you're nostalgic about the countryside, I suppose I could possibly go with it. Not maybe as much as the smell of petrol, which is quite strong, which I do like. You like that, do you? I'm afraid I do. Mm. I mean, not environmentally anymore, but, you know, it's kind of a nice smell. Um, but it kind of makes the back of my throat burn and me want to gag. So I'm going to say no. Mark, where, what, what do you do? Okay, do you, do you work with... Do you work um, at a dairy farm? You work with feces or...? <laughs> Weirdly, I don't do anything like that. I'm a skip driver. Huh. Do you do you seek it out? Do you what for? What's no, what? No, with it, travels to you? <laughs> when I was younger, I was um, always in the countryside with my grandparents and things, and it's just not a bad smell. Yeah, I just like it. Yeah, ho- sort of comforting, I guess. But then I was on the money. I get it. You know, it's a it's a thing that gives you mm. you know some nostalgia. But I guess situation is important. If you were to go back to your house and in your front room there was a pile of it, that's different, isn't it? Context is everything. Or if there wasn't a pile of it and you could smell it, I mean, that would be more disturbing. <laughs> yeah. Where is that coming from? And then suddenly it's a game. <laughs> Where is it? Da, 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 who in the house has come and you? <laughs> That's another theme tune. <laughs> Mark, thank you. That's a, that's a weird start, but it's a great start. Let's go again. Okay. And come and give us your unpopular opinion. opinion. Something else so now that you've been scared to say. Say. <laughs> We started uh, in Little Hampton with Mark. We now go to Sean in North Wales. Sean! Frozen chips don't need to be cooked. Blimey. I mean, frozen peas, for sure. That's a, a, a child fever cure. It's just, it's a weird snack. You do you snack on frozen peas? No, I do not. Ch- oh. Yes, I do, but not <laughs> frozen chips. Yeah. Oh, you should try it. Clearly. Um, g- give us the cell. <laughs> I just think, you know, if you're waiting for your tea to cook, it's just a nice little snack while you're waiting for those chips to cook. Or, you know, if you're watching telly, just get a couple to gnaw on while you're waiting. Does that, I've got another question. Does that kill the joy of the, the cooked deal? I mean, what, what happens to the hot chip? <laughs> um, I think they're equally as good. Um, but, mm. uh, yeah, it's just a little starter before it's the main event. Really. Yeah, yeah, the chip starter yeah. before the chips. Wow. Yeah. So do you Have you did- ever tried crisps? Because they're... they're <laughs> <laughs> That's what a lot of people like uh, potatoes turned into. <laughs> and they yeah, have to make all sorts of like flavours. Yeah, it's not like I'd dip a frozen chip in tomato sauce or anything. Like, that's weird. That but, would um, be crazy. Are they not... They're not a bit... Because I've got very sensitive teeth. I don't mind telling everyone. <laughs> Greg, I think it would hurt you. I think it would hurt me. Yeah. Biting into that would be horrible. Yes. Mm. Like your well, worst kind it, of you start cream. on mm. the crispy ones, the little ones, and then <laughs> the, the crispy bigger frozen ones. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> like, maybe, I have to say, no, I mean, the manure smell, I, I'm, I, I, that, that I have had experience of. I am someone who has moved through the countryside, but I... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try... Well, you know, I've had fleeting <laughs> moments of manure smell. But I've never eaten a frozen chip. I, don't, I think I can no. safely say my parents might disagree, but they're not here to answer. So I'll, I'll try it. You did bring up an interesting point, which you actually just alluded to the fact that it's, it's essentially a potato ice cream. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Heston might be knocking on your door asking for a you know, bit of intellectual copyright there. <laughs> Sean, thank you. It's a great unpopular opinion. I'm sure that lots of people will agree with you because lots of people are wonderfully weird. Sean's in North Wales. Let's go again. Come and give us your unpopular opinion. Something up till now that you've been scared, scared to say. Hey. <laughs> Alex is in Leeds. Alex! Ting. I can't understand Ariana Grande when she sings. Yeah. She's just an extraordinary, extraordinary vocal artist. Yeah. Someone played me her music, and I'm a huge, huge fan. I just think, yeah, I think she's just got such raw talent. She's incredible. Um, but I, but, but she yeah. She's older now, but she can't. You can't really understand you'll what she's that. saying. You'll give her that, that she can hold yeah, a note or two. Also, <laughs> do very high notes very Such well. Such an English appraisal yeah. of, a, of a raw super talent. She can hold a note. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I know what you mean, and I, I feel my 45 years sometimes when I'm listening to a song going, here, I wonder if there's a lyric sheet that I can get online, because I can't understand a word. I was having a little look through some of the lyrics, Alex, and you're so right. I didn't really know what these lyrics were. You just get used to them as... Can you play some? Yeah. 
Okay, what, is, what, did she, what did she say there? Something about a cat in an elevator? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She, she realises she's a love cat. Suddenly she realises she's a love cat stuck in an elevator and she goes, Aah! at the end because she's scared. Not quite. Oh. I should be wiser. I realised that I got. I should be wiser. Stuck in I an elevator with a cat. <laughs> <laughs> that's the bit that's missing. Uh, how about this one? Poking through holes? Mm, near, nearly. <laughs> nearly. 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 I'm I'm in the Olympics. I'm jumping through hoops. There you go. Yeah, it's a great unpopular opinion. This because I've never <laughs> realised that I didn't know either. <laughs> I get a, I get a hold on to your opinion. I yeah. think it's it's a good one. And this one. She's saying, "Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Free love. Mm. Bre- oh. Breathing." Breathing. Breathing. Right. Mm. She did a lot of breathing. Oh, like yeah. Oh, <gasps> uh, yeah. She's just explaining what she's doing. Wow, she can hold the note. <laughs> you were right there too. <laughs> Alex, a great one. But um, thank you very much for your appraisal of Ariana Grande. Oh, it's and uh, it's getting hot in here. Benedict's taking his, taking his jacket off. <laughs> Following Greg's lead, he's completely naked. Oh, no, you have, you have visuals these days. <laughs> Alex, thank you. Okay, one more for luck. Come and give us your unpopular opinion Something up till now that you've been scared to say <laughs> One more then, James People who don't eat the crust on a loaf of bread are some of society's weakest links Correct oh. Yeah, yes, absolutely I mean that's pretty, That's there's eugenics in that phrase which I'm a little bit alarmed at <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, apart from that, he's being jolly with it. He's being jolly with yeah, it. Yeah, he's being jolly with it. But let's put it more generously. They're missing out. People... Exactly. They're missing out on all the key nutrients. Um... But I... so, go on, Ben. I mean, I, I agree with you. I, I like, also I like the texture. I like the fact that it, that's the thing that holds a sandwich. And, and it's it a happens. crusty bit. It's good. Yeah, it's the mm. chewiest bit. It's nice. James and Whitney, thank you so much for your call. Cheers, Greg. Thanks, James. What great laugh. What nice. Yeah, nice people. I'd like to ask you a question. Yes. Do you have an unpopular opinion? <laughs> Many. Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing to you. Uh, God, I'd like, I'd oh, like no, to, I'd like to give me one. <gasps> Come and give us your unpopular opinion. Me? Something up till now that you've been scared to say. I'm scared of much. To uh, say. And now we go to Benedict in front of me. I'm not a big fan of working with cats. That proved to be a remarkably unpopular opinion. <sighs> I mean, it's not saying I don't like cats. It's saying I don't want to work with them. But cat lovers just can't get it. They're like, he hates cats. I'm yeah. like, the two sentences are utterly diametrically opposed. Mm. Try working with your cat, cat owners. Try getting them to hit a mark in a studio environment mm. with actors and things going on. I mean, kittens are fantastic. They will play yeah. with balls and string. Balls and string? No, balls of string is what yeah. I was trying to say. Or balls of or whatever. You know, they literally go, oh, look, something to pour against. They will lick from sources of milk. The minute they've got a rough idea that they're a cat, forget it. Forget it. They are just impossible. Herding cats is a phrase for a reason. It's would, impossible. Would you pick working with dogs over working with cats? Yes. Mm. Although some of the weirdest moments on set for Power of the Dog, which were definitely moments where I broke character, which was not regularly, um, were with dogs, uh, especially one called Ace. And the um, owner had a kind of barking way of calling out this dog's name, which was, Ace, Ace! And we were down in New Zealand, and hence the weird accent. Ace, Ace, Ace! Like that. <laughs> which is more than the dog ever do. Ace would basically run towards us and then do a massive sort of banana curve around us to the craft table where all the snacks and food sure. were kept and just like gobble up, you know, sandwiches. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was supposed to be a very well-trained at heel kind of farm dog, but no. Nope. What a mad job you have. It is truly bonkers. Yes. Do you think it's uh, do, what was the? Do you remember the maddest day that you've ever had on a set? I mean, uh, well, this film, you know, just being strung up in the harness and flown around blocks of New York, and then actually just seeing the M3 over there <laughs> and the, the tough 500 strong crew all clad in protective gear, having yeah. done their tests for the morning. I mean, it just an amazing amount of effort makes. It, it goes into making any of these films, but yeah. during the age of COVID and lockdowns, it was remarkable. And I was sort of swinging around underneath the head of this crane going, this is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, but it's just bonkers. It doesn't get weirder than playing Doctor Strange. Well, we can't watch it. We can't, we can't watch it. it. Well, we can't watch well, it right I, now. I can't watch it right now because it's out tomorrow. <laughs> it's out tomorrow. Um, we can't wait to watch it. Um, Doctor you. Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is out tomorrow. Benedict, thank you so much for being on the show. So welcome. It was a pleasure. If you enjoyed this, then please like and subscribe it and click the bell icon to keep up to date. 
For more great audio and video from the BBC, you can listen on the BBC Sounds app and watch on iPlayer.